Hi, welcome back to Cooking with Grandpa. This is Joe and Lorenzo in the background. Today we're gonna to make a lemon pound cake. Very similar to our chocolate swirl pound cake. You'll find the recipe up here. And we'll get, for our preparation, I'll tell you what we got. We got our sugar and a half a cup of flour mixed in here and salt. And, uh, and, and we're gonna mix it with our butter. And we have four eggs, our flour at the end, milk, and we have a half a, a zest of lemon and a half a juice of lemon, one lemon. We'll get started. This is gonna be the creaming method. Everything will be listed. I weighed out everything, and we have our greased uh, pan here and flour. And uh, everything will be listed in the uh, dip in the uh, uh, what do you call it? It's a description. We'll have it in volume and in weight. I usually weigh everything out. You use volume; it'll be there for you to understand. So this is called the creaming method. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in our butter. Everything must be, should be at room temperature. Now we're gonna add our sugar, salt, and flour. We took two, a half a cup of the flour that we're gonna use, we're using two cups of flour. We took a half a cup and put it into this mixture right at the beginning. It's a little trick I learned a long time ago. It stops them from curdling. Okay, so now we put our paddle on. Put our bowl in here. Start it on about speed. Not too fast at the beginning, you'll blow all your flour and sugar out. Now we're gonna do this for a good five minutes creaming it. And we're also gonna uh, wipe down the sides of the bowl every once in a while with my spatula. We'll get back to you and we'll let you see the next procedure. Okay, we've been creaming this for about five minutes. I, I wiped the side of the bowl down a couple of times. You should do that. And now what I'm going to do is add my uh, lemon zest and my lemon juice. And we're going to start adding our eggs, one at a time. And after, you know, you add the one or two eggs, you try to wipe that bowl down again. There you go, one. Don't let it curdle on you. Make sure you keep it at the good speed. I'm on speed five about now. That's what I've been using to clean this. That's number two egg. Okay, I'm gonna shut it down for a second. I wanna clean the sides of the bowl. It's important that you do this. Okay, we're still on speed five. I had added all my eggs, my two other eggs. And it's a beautiful looking cream right now. And we're gonna start adding. Now this flour, I sifted it and it has baking powder in it. I sifted it about three times. We start adding this flour a little at a time. 
but not on speed five. We're gonna go back to speed one. One on two or one right now. Add a little flour and then add a little milk. Bangs. Now I've got the oven set at 310 degrees. On the bottom shelf, I have a hot sheet pan in there. I'm gonna go about an hour for this to be done. I'll we'll call you back in an hour to let you know how it looks. Okay, we went about an hour and 10 minutes. Here we go. I'm gonna test it with my 
thermometer, but if you have a toothpick, it should come out clean, like this thermometer. What do we got here, about 198, beautiful. And the toothpick comes out clean, that's it. She's done, we're gonna give it a rest up here for about 10, 15 minutes, and then we'll take it out of the pan. Get back to you in a minute. Okay, we let it cool down for about eight minutes. Just separating it here like this. And we're gonna take it out of the pan. Take the paper off. Okay, and we're all done. Now we're gonna sprinkle this with a little powdered sugar and we'll show you what we'll do with it later. Uh, by the way, thanks for listening and watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. And by the way, take a look at Lorenzo's last video, how to make garlic and oil. He did it. Very good. See ya.